Hi guys, it's Jim here. Um, I'm Jim. I am part of the Extreme Boaters with my brother Stu. Um, I am a full-time eBay reseller. I buy stuff at car boot sales, charity shops, etc. And I sell it on eBay for a profit. So basically my job is finding second-hand or new items for cheap and selling them on eBay for lots of money. So today's video, um, more serious one today, um, if, if we get serious here at Extreme Booters, sometimes we have to. Um, eBay, Managed Payments, it's a new system uh, that's come on board on eBay, um, basically for how people pay for items on eBay and how you get your money for the items you've sold. Now obviously in the past, um, there was eBay and there was PayPal, um, two separate companies. Um, you would, as a buyer at least, see something on eBay that you liked. You would click buy it now or, or, or bid on it or what have you. You would then pay through PayPal and the money would go from PayPal to eBay. So as a seller, you would list your item, it would sell, the money would go from PayPal to... would go to your PayPal account, your fees would sit within eBay and then you would pay them. Normally on a monthly basis, you could pay it more often if you wanted, um, but there was fees for both. So eBay would take their fee, tends to be around the 10% mark, and then PayPal would take their fee, 2.9% plus 20 pence. Yes, I'm in the UK, so I'm talking pounds for anybody who's not in the UK plus 20 pence per transaction. The new system is purely within eBay. PayPal have basically out of the picture now and it's all within eBay. They are handling the payments, um, they are handling all the fees and they are handling all of the money. Um, now, people, you can, if you're buying, you can still use PayPal as a purchase option but the PayPal then goes to eBay, who then distributes it to the seller. Um, so under the new system, there's still fees to pay, but it's all within eBay. Um, there is a slight change to um, the fees. They have gone up from 10% to 10.9% on most categories. It is different on some cars, etc. cetera. Um, plus a 30 pence per transaction um, processing fee. Um, processing fees are normal. If you go to a shop and pay with a credit card, they tend to have a processing transaction on the card machine. So that's why there's that um, transaction fee. Now, if a seller, buy, if a buyer buys, say, 10 of your items and pays at once, there will only be one 30 pence fee. It is per transaction. It is not per item that you sell. So, talking in money, if you sold something for £100, in the old system, you would pay PayPal, you would pay eBay your seller fees of 10%, which on £100 is £10. PayPal would then take 2.9% of that £100, so £2.90, plus 20 pence. So in total, for a £100 sale, you would pay £13.10. Now, with the new system, with eBay Managed Payments, you would pay 10.9% fee, which would be £10.90, plus 30 pence. So that would be £11.20. So, in actual fact, with Managed Payments, you are better off. So on a £100 sale, you are saving £1.90. That's a lot of money. That adds up over a month. I don't know what our sales are over a month, let's say a thousand pounds. That's 19 pounds that you'll be saving in fees from a thousand pounds. It's a lot of money, it does add up. It is a big plus of this new system, all in-house in eBay. Um, it's, it's a big positive. You get more money, you pay less fees. 
fees. So in the old system, you would sell an item, the fee, the eBay fee would sit within eBay for until uh, you were in, the fee would sit within eBay and you would be invoiced on a monthly basis and pay your fees. The PayPal fees, they would be taken off at times of transaction and the balance would sit in your PayPal account for you to do whatever you wished for. Now, the fees are all taken off at the time of transaction. So your selling fees, your end listing fees, are taken off the money that you will be sent from money's payments. Other fees, normal fees, like I have a shop subscription fee, I may have insertion fees on um, if I list a certain number of items, um, promotion fees, things like that. They will all roll over still on a monthly basis and you'll be invoiced monthly by, by eBay to be paid however you pay it, whether that's from your bank or your credit card, etc. So in terms of fees per transaction, it's easier because it's all taken off at one point. You won't have a massive bill at the end of the month and think, hold on, I've spent too much money. What am I going to do? I can't afford to pay this, etc. That's never going to happen because it's taken off from the money that you will receive. So that for me is a big plus. Um, it really does save a bit of a headache for some people at the end of the month. Now, one thing that you probably should do for the time for the for the short term anyway is check the fees that you're paying um, from eBay. You can do that within the payment screen. Um, you get a detailed list of what you've sold and how much the fees are. Obviously, with it being a new system, there may be some issues. So it's worth checking that you're paying the correct fees on those items. It's easy enough to calculate all of the fees are listed and the percentages that you um, pay. So it's easy enough to check that you're being billed right. If you're not, obviously get onto eBay straight away and they'll sort it out. Let's be fair, well, at least in my experience, eBay are brilliant. They are really helpful and they will help you however they can to make the whole experience for sellers as good as it possibly can be. Um, now, the way that you receive your money um, from managed payments is, is different and it is where some people have got an issue with the new system. And it's basically, the payment is sent direct to your bank account, but there is a delay. And that delay can be two to three days. It can be longer if there are bank holidays, etc. over the period. Um, and originally, obviously, we'd have the money instantly in our PayPal. Um, if you were to need that money to pay for the postage on the item, it would be there instantly and you could instantly pay it. Now there will be a delay. But obviously, if you get consistent sales, that delay will be offset because you will always or you will receive money on a daily basis or weekly or monthly, as I said, however you've decided. So the key there is going to be some budgeting. You know that, you're got, that you've got some items on eBay, say 10 items. The postage for those 10 items is going to be £50. You need to be thinking, I need to keep £50 in my business account or put aside to cover that postage because otherwise there's going to be a delay. And obviously, as we know, the longer the delay you post something, the more the seller's likely to moan and the more you're going to have an issue with eBay. That brings me on to shipping. Um, most shipping uh, can be paid for by PayPal, so the money would be sat in your account um, from the sale of the item. You'd go on to your parcel um, courier uh, website or what have you and you can pay for it straight away from your PayPal balance. Or if you sent stuff from the post office, the money would be in your PayPal, you could transfer it immediately and you could use it in cash or debit card, however you'd like. Obviously, um, that is now different. Now, you can use, because of the delay, that there, there may be an issue, but you can use the balance that you have sitting in managed payments to pay for shipping. Um, or you can still use PayPal if you've got money in your PayPal account, or you can use whatever other funding sources you use. Now, it's pretty simple to do when you go through the, the, the shipping on, on eBay, you can select the option that you wish to use. That is assuming you have a balance in your managed payments that's due to be paid that day, that week, etc. Um, if not, keep some money in your PayPal or keep some money in your business account to be able to pay for shipping. Um, the use of PayPal 
within eBay obviously may change at some point. Um, it may not be an option for us to use it at all, um, but it's worth keeping hold of that PayPal account because many other platforms use PayPal. You can use it for, for a myriad of, of different things and it's uh, worth doing. You can also obviously currently use it for buying stuff on eBay, although again, that may change, I don't know. Refunds and returns. Most sellers experience refunds and returns. It's part of eBay. Um, originally, obviously, um, someone would raise a return, um, the label would be generated, and then you'd pay for the label from your eBay fees, and you would do the refund once the item came back and you're happy with it through your PayPal. Now, the refund, the, the person raises the return case, the label is automatically created and the cost automatically comes out of your um, managed payments, uh, pending balance. And then it's the same process. The item is posted back to you, you check it, and then you send the refund from either your managed payments balance or your PayPal, whichever you wish. So they still pretty much work the same. Um, the one difference that there is with refunds is um, the chargeback of fees. Obviously, a couple of months ago, it may be longer, um, PayPal decided that they would keep the transaction fee um, for every transaction. So if you sold something and it was returned, you had to refund, you would lose that transaction fee. Now, all transaction fees will be refunded through managed payments, so you get back um, any fees that are associated with that sale. So that is a bonus. So benefits of um, managed payments, the new system, fees are reduced. I've showed on my example that you can save some money every month, so that's all going to add up. That's a bonus. It's all in one system, so it should um, limit or, or, or hopefully eradicate any duplicate uh, claims, because sometimes if you had a return raised on eBay, um, you refunded, the person could still possibly open a PayPal case at the same time if, they, if there's a, like a turnover time that that could be done and then you could potentially lose your money twice and you would have to then fight through, through PayPal, eBay to get your money back from them. It can cause issues. Obviously now it's all in one place, it's all um, sorted out gen um, centrally, that will be eliminated, there is no chance for that to happen. Another benefit is for buyers. They can use um, various different systems now to pay for items. You can use um, PayPal as it is. You can use a credit card, debit card, bank account, Apple Pay, and it all goes through the same system. It's no different for a seller. The money comes no matter what system they're using. So it opens up more options um, and potentially more sales for sellers because there's more options for um, for buyers to pay for your items. So if previously they didn't have money in a PayPal account, for instance, there may be a delay, an e-check or something like that. Now the options that are available mean that there won't be delays such as that. Um, another advantage of managed payments is the reporting is very good. Um, the eBay reporting and detailing of fees, payments, etc. is good. Um, obviously, previously, you'd have to download your eBay reports and your PayPal reports and go through both. That's now limited because you've only got one set of reports to look through. So your accounting um, could be proved, could be a lot easier. So issues. There are potentially some issues with managed payments. And the main one, obviously, is the delay in receiving your money from a sale. Um, that could cause cash flow issues, etc. But as I've said, if, if you budget, then hopefully that would be minimised. Um, the other issue is, are there any bugs? It's a new system. Um, I've worked in a payments uh, environment and I know there can be bugs in new systems and errors can be made in payments. So especially for the... Um, Short term, it's worth, as I said, checking what you're paying on fees and making sure that you get your money on a timely basis. Communication from eBay, to be fair, on your managed payments is good. You you do get messages as to as and when you're being paid and how much, and then you obviously can check your report. So that maybe does offset it. 
So all in all, managed payments is a big change for eBay sellers. Um, it's something that we haven't really got a choice about, which is not really the way um, to work. But the alternative is, well, what is your alternative? If you don't take up managed payments as a seller, your alternative is not to sell on eBay. Um, so you could start selling, I suppose, on Amazon or Facebook. But for me, I am pretty much 99% eBay. So I've got no choice. Embrace the change. It's got to happen. And to be fair, I think it is going to be better. It's going to save us money. That's the main thing at the end of the day. It's going to save us money and it's going to possibly increase sales. So fingers crossed. Um, it'll all be good. So that's my thoughts. I mean, I'm not, you know, the guru of eBay. Don't take everything I say as absolute gospel. Um, do your own research. Make your own decisions. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope that was useful to someone. Please like, subscribe if you haven't. I'll be back for some newer videos soon. See you later.